what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel where i talk about everything investing and investment all right so if you haven't subscribed to this channel click on the subscribe button and the bell right there beside the subscribe button click on it too so that you can uh, get a notification whenever i do a new video so in this video we'll be talking about nigerian breweries uh, i always tweet about nigerian breweries because i am in nigeria and i am nigerian so I have to have investment in the Nigerian stock market, not just foreign stock markets. So Nigerian Breweries is one of the um, um, stocks that I like. I like it. And this is why I want to tell people why I actually like it. Uh, first things first, this should not be considered financial advice. Uh, this should not be uh, con fin uh, considered financial or legal advice. So do your own research um, before you invest in anything. So I'm just going to get into the video now. Okay, so right here, what I have is uh, the Nigerian Breweries website. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to first show you all the drinks. Um, before it loads, I'm going to tell you something. Um, Nigerian breweries control about 65% of the Nigerian um, brewery market. Like the Nigerian drinks, all the drinks in Nigeria, they control about 65% of it. Uh, with rivals such as, I think, uh, Guinness and there's another drink called Hero. So uh, I think those are their rivals. And I want to show you now all their brands. So I'm going to start this like, fresh. So. Okay, so you see this is Star, and then they have Heineken, which is actually a partnership with the Heineken, you know, because Heineken obviously is a foreign company. It's not native to Nigeria. And there's Gouda, and there's Goldberg, there's Light, there's Life, uh, there's um, Molaga, there's Legend, there's Williams, um, there's Turbo King, Amstel Mortar, these are non-alcoholics now, Amstel Mortar, Maltina, Malta Gold, Maltex, and High Malt, and uh, they have other drinks like Star Radler. These are strong bro, strong bow, apple cedars, ferus, uh, climax, stella. Um, so and that's basically they have some roots too. They have roots just like other companies have roots. Roots are different from beers. So if you if you if that was confusing, I want to just also point you to Wikipedia where you can also check on their products. This Wikipedia you can also see right here that the, the headquarters everything you can see their partners heineken right here is one of their partners so you can see heineken right here um so um look at their products you see style agave non-alcoholics alcohol free drinks they also have roots uh, they have some roots anyway okay so uh, i want to do list of beers and berries in nigeria Nah, no need to look at that but also guinness is in nigeria so you should know these are one of their competitions but you can see um all these drinks I just mentioned now, if you walk into any Nigerian store, any Nigerian beer parlor, any Nigerian party, you will definitely see one of them. Especially the non-alcoholic drinks, God, they own everything. You will definitely see a Maltina, you will see a Malta Gold, you see a High Malt, you see a Maltex, you see an Amstel Malta. One of them will be there. So that's the thing. And if you don't like any of these drinks, I'm sorry, you are buying from the same company. Sorry, sorry to break it to you. Same company. So that's uh, sorry, sorry, same company. <laughs> uh, this is this is this is well played. This, this is well played from Nigerian breweries. I love what they did here. I love this. I love this. I just love this. Okay, so um, these are their products. Uh, so you can decide if you like them or not. But I really love them because they are everywhere and everything. They actually, you know. If you don't like any of their drinks, we take another one. So let me just move on to their financials. So I actually did a tweet in 2019 about their financials, their profits. This there's one thing that is frequent with these guys: profits. We all like profit. Nobody wants to hear a loss. So these guys are constantly making profit. Constantly making profit. Let me show you. So I did this tweet, but let me move down here to where I talked about the profits. So right here, this is it right here. As you can see. Uh, links are there. You can also search this up on my Twitter. You see it. Um, so profit. Um, also follow me on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> These are the profits. Oh, in 2016 they made 2.4 billion in profit. Um, in 2017 they made 33 billion. In 2018 they made 19.4 billion. This is when they started complaining about their profits. And this is because of two things. First things first is the recession. Other beer companies complain the same thing about the decline in people buying beers because you know the recession started in Nigeria and um, uh, worst things worst it became worse because the economy was seriously down plus a recession that's like double problem for as in Nigeria we call it double wahala for dead bodies so that is double problems for 
your average Nigerian. So people now reduce how they actually drink beer and how they throw parties. So that this started in 2018. The beer company, the brewery companies have been complaining, but people are still drinking beer. I go out every day, I see them drink a ton of beer, but not everyone like they used to do before. It was a random thing before, but now people have reduced their hands, you know, money and stuff. Uh, I want to also show you guys. So in 2019, they made 12 billion which is ouch that is a very big decline from 2018 very big decline from 2018 that's bad uh so this is their 2019 profits 12 12 billion naira this is all naira not dollars i wish it was dollars though <laughs> so um in 20 um 19 this was their posted profits then in 2020 as at march they actually made um 5.5 .5 billion now you need to understand something in 2018 2019 they made 5.5 .5, they made 8 billion they made 8 billion in the first quarter let me show you this all right uh, okay okay so they made 8 billion in the first quarter which is right here they made 8 billion in the first quarter right here they made 8 billion in their first quarter and look at in 2020 they are making 5.5 .5 billion so you could you could see that where's that uh, right here you could see that 5.5 .5 billion this is very it's bad but at least they are making profits so profit is constant and the economy is bad but they are still making their money so i want to also show you something all right look out your products again on naira metrics so by the way this uh, this is naira metrics and this is and uh, this is business day these are nigerian newspapers online newspapers so you can also check this out you can also check wiki so right here you can check whatever i want to check they are all open you can still check their website so uh they have low depth i want to get their depth profile let me get uh, uh no not this let me check nigerian breweries depth i think this should help me so you can see this this is actually how you do your research as simple as this oh what happened to my internet come on uh all right so till my internet comes back on i'm going to search that out for you let me see i can't even click on any of these links but let's just move on so that's it right there uh the that their profile is really low and they actually they sell abroad they don't just sell only to nigerians then look at their revenues their revenues decline but i wanted to see this awesome story meanwhile the brewer's cost of sales that's cost of sales increased by 0.23 percent that is nice but in this article right here you will see how their revenues even though their revenues in nigeria reduced so in 2019 got it right here in 2019 Nigerian breweries raised uh, uh, realized 2.3 billion net revenue as of which which is for, for 0.43% lower than 2. Uh, 324 3, sorry billion uh, in 2018 so they just 1 billion less this year they realized 1 billion less this year but this is what you need to know is this their production their revenues in Nigeria reduced but something happened the revenues abroad because they actually see on the contrary proceeds from exports they export their beer increased by 4.4 percent which means these guys are dominating in nigeria and they're dominating abroad profits profits everywhere profits everywhere okay look at this from 190 190 billion to 198 billion thank you nigerian breweries and then i'm going to show you this is them on the nigerian stock exchange so their share price is actually 31 naira it was actually 52 but corona hit the market so bad they, they fell to 22 they also rose again to uh 50 uh, sorry to 48 then back to 31 that's market market adjustments to me though so when the market comes back up people begin to have confidence in markets uh, most people right now are busy playing in the uh u.s stock exchange you know they are playing in nyc nyc and they are playing in nyc sorry uh, and they are playing in uh nasdaq you know to maximize the corona profits <laughs> oh my god <laughs> just so nice so this is it is our share price so why do i think this is great because i know that the markets are going to still reset it's not about the share price here it is basically it is cheaper now it is way way cheaper these guys are still making profits even though the share price is lower <laughs> they just posted 5.5 .5 billion and it's this year this is in a, a time when people are complaining about their business folding up 
these guys are posting profits even though the profits decreased but they also reduce the number of staff so which means they have less costs less production costs it's not so nice for the people that lost their jobs but it's also nice to the stock the shareholders so this is the problem here this is it it's painful to watch but hopefully things will get better hopefully uh, they have low depth and my internet come on come on come on don't do this to me still down it happened all right so the low depth uh, the products are everywhere the share price is cheap and this is the final take i want to give before i stop this video so right here i posted about buying nigerian berries right here and someone then quoted the tweet and said nigerian berries declared a dividend of two naira per share for 2019 you know which means if you bought the five if you bought 500,000 naira worth of nigerian berry shares you get 29 uh, Naira for 2019, which is a 5% return in one year with, with an inflation rate of 12.5%. You think that's really profitable? Now, this is a very, very wise assessment. I really love what this guy did. I don't follow him, but wherever this guy is, he really tried. But there's something you need to know it is always wise to invest in your local markets first. And again, look at the profitability and growth of Nigerian breweries. So they are always posting profits. It will still grow because the market is down eventually to grow when the market normalizes people begin to have confidence in markets people begin to invest their money in the market big big institutions begin to bring in their money to previous uh, stocks that they used to buy things will begin to come back um so i want to show you something here so this was the response i gave to him and i said it it's a profitable um, um business yes it is it's not our fault that our inflation rate is 12.5 percent you need to understand something about nigeria not many things can give you any 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 profit any profit higher than 12.5 percent not many things agriculture can give you and that's done by by um buying and selling buying and selling faster than your money can be lost in inflation on like keeping it longer like investing in this in a stock but this is the this is the brilliant thing you need to understand something it's good to invest in your local markets and also invest for the long time our inflation rate will not be like this forever. It will be increasing production at some point. Unless the company keeps going down downhill, then it's advisable not to invest anything in your company, in your in your country. Unless you don't believe in your country. But let me just move on and show you this. So I replied to him and I said, first things first, an idle 500,000 naira will be trash because of inflation. Yes. In Nigeria, we have stamp charges and stamp duties that they charge you. Maintenance, they charge you for keeping your money. So obviously your money will be 499,900 and something or 800 and something so you've lost right there then second thing price to dividend long story short i compare them to another stock nestle which is 1000 naira damn one uh, 1000 naira per share and that sh that that company gave a 38 naira in dividend and if you look at it that company is this nestle is actually the highest share uh, highest the most expensive share in nigerian stock exchange which is Nestle and so you look at it based on their share dividend and you get a 19,000 naira 19,250 which is a 3.5 percent return of investment you see this now you want to you should pick something from this just because the share price is high doesn't mean the dividends to share ratio will be better than a company that the share price is lower that's why you need to understand some mathematics to shares so okay i'm not investing for dividends i'm a value i'm value investing i'm also also looking at the price it's cheap enough the dividends to price ratio is nice it's higher than even the most expensive stock and uh, so and the stock is really underrated i always say nigerian berry stock is underrated they own 65 percent of nigerian berry market their drinks are preferred and frankly most affordable when nigeria entered a uh, recession the first people to get hit by that recession in the berry market were guinness they were complaining that people were buying their drinks less because obviously Guinness is more expensive than your average Nigerian berry drink. People drank. People people just drank, you know. People drank what they could afford, which is what Nigerian berries can offer them. So um, you should also check um, uh, their depth. I would have checked their depth profile, but it's not high. It's not really high. Aside their cost of production, which is not so high and some stamp duties they have to pay custom duties they have to pay because of exports and uh, what else again yeah 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 that uh they also borrowed some money from the bank 
so i think the loan payments is what another thing added to their debt so aside that they have um very very low low debt ratio so this is my take on the nigerian breweries and everything nigerian breweries um this should not be considered financial advice so please you have to do your own research personally i like this this stock i just wanted to use this i always talk about it so i wanted to use this stock to um the word is this to demonstrate or let's say to to uh, celebrate my 100 view 100 subscribers on youtube so i really appreciate all of you for hitting me up to 100 so if this video was really helpful please like uh, please comment please ask questions i can i will pick your pick your question and answer it in another video i will also send you the reply you know the video reply link so uh don't forget to subscribe turn on notification turn on the notifications bell so that you get uh, a notification whenever i can i I do a new video oh before i go you can also buy this stock on shaka shaka is a an app that helps you buy stocks in nigerian uh, stock exchange so you can buy it on shaka i also don't work for shaka so you should watch before you buy anything you buy anything from them i just love the good work they are doing that's why i talk about them so i'm not affiliated with them nothing zero zero affiliation with them so please watch watch out before you invest in anything don't consider me sending you to shaka as a financial advice please do your own research and do your own due diligence before investing in anything. Alright, so this is getting too long. I will see you in my other videos. So guys, take care.